TV there, Frankers. <laughs> yes, we'll go. Uh, is there a battery in it, Dad? Yep. There is? Yeah. There's a lot of snow in this car. Wait a bit. Oh. Very satisfying, huge piles of snow coming off. Big chunks. Yeah, it's fast, eh? Yeah. <laughs> it, looks, it does look a little funny with the windows down. <laughs> like you left it at the beach. Miles is talking me into a four barrel in the Buick. Wow. That I'd have the. Smart. Same, the CFB, okay? A couple extra bone skis and put dual exhaust on. It's a requirement now, just clean off a four girl, what are you doing? Oh, what am I working on here? Is Something's open? arcing. It is arcing between those two plug wires. Jesus, 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 man. No, no, that's insane. That's like a cup of gas. Can you give it some throttle? I will, I just, I want to keep them on, keep as much gas on the throttle plates as I can before I open it. You gotta hold the light. Yeah, yeah. No, it just keeps arcing across everything. Yeah, all the plug motors are arcing down here too. They're arcing to the manifolds. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening all the way across here. Yeah, they're just, <laughs> I thought they were pretty cool, but they are not working very well. Oh, well, wasn't for a lack of effort. That's right, it wasn't for a lack of burning out one nicely charged battery. Okay, it's a couple days later and I'm headed back to the GCFCE. We did have a, uh, a, a rare occurrence of failure the other day when we tried starting the Oldsmobile and then uh, noticed that the, uh, the plug wires were just arcing all over the place and we are kind of wasting our time. So uh, Dan wants the car back inside so I'm headed back over there today and we'll throw some plug wires on and then I expect that the Oldsmobile will probably fire right up. And, the goal, I think, is to get the car inside where Dan's going to commence uh, gutting the interior and uh, we're going to get ready to start servicing uh, the rest of the mechanical systems on the car. Maybe even the power windows, just so it can sit outside a little more uh, readily. Anyhow, uh, we'll join us at the uh, Oldsmobile here. So, feeling a little more optimistic today. Well, a little brighter out. <laughs> so we're not going to be able to see the spark. Yeah, right. We won't be able to time. see the arcing. But, well, we're going to pull the wires out. Yeah. And stretch them all out right here. Yeah. And two longest ones are going to go to the front cylinders, right? Yep. Yeah. Goal to bring the car inside today? Yes. All right, let's do that. So those are the two longest ones. So we're going to just do one at a time. Are you going to do all the plugs at the same time? No, we're just going to do one at a time. No, I mean you're going to do all the plugs and all the wires? Yes. Okay. I was I was expecting it to go last time, but definitely not once we saw that arcing. Let's see, I bet you it just fires. Yeah. Oh. Or pump. Looks like you bought a gas guzzler, Dan. I know. It's old 303-0. These old 303s put you in the poorhouse every time. Put, you, put it in the bottom of a ravine somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need uh, maybe a, a more fuel efficient engine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't think I won't. <laughs> <laughs> GM43 V6. 
<laughs> Can you imagine? Go to the local <laughs> boat, boat store and ask for. Can I have a Mercury's or four three, please? Oh, this is painful. Better. <laughs> it sounds so tough, eh? the next uh, part of the plan here get the windows uh, the window uh, the hydraulic stuff get oh, the windows yeah I know I should be dealing with rush from there get the windows up because then it can sit outside yes and the thing is once the windows are up it doesn't mean the like you don't have to take them apart again to fix the rust so it's not like it's out out of order if you do it that way no. so that's our baby there's the pump so what are you thinking uh probably the easiest to off? pull the fender then you get full access to it. Yeah, then you don't have to undo any of the lines. Oh, there's a big filter canister on the bottom, maybe. Is that what I'm seeing, or is that a I reservoir? Don't I don't know. Yeah, it's going to be fun to learn about. That's cool. It's going to be a really fun system to learn about. Where, how do they go into the door? I don't know about that. Oh, there's is a there hydraulic a, hose right there. Or, uh, is it a flexible line? No, it's a hard line that goes in here, and there's a flexible line in there. What? Yeah, the flexible, look at it. Oh, that moves with the hinge. Yeah. The hard line is to the hinge. Okay. Yeah, that's going to... Oh, maybe with the kick panel off, you can access the flexible line. There's got to be a hose in there somewhere. Yeah, I can see, you can see the hose if you look inside. And there's probably all new lines is made this? if I'm going that far. I, I bet you factory probably ran off right foot. I would look into that because they are not compatible. So interior has to come out to get, the, get at the rears. And door panels have to come off to get at the fronts. I wonder how guillotine only like one it pump, is. Huh? I wonder oh, how guillotine like it is. Oh, I bet you this like... thing will chop your hand off. Yeah. 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 That's going to be like fun. I like fast power windows. Okay, we're back with 53 Oldsmobile time. We'll see what Dan thinks. Is today, is it window day, you think? It's a rough, it's a big job. Got to get started on something, I yeah, guess, right? right? 
So you want to start with the passenger door panel or driver? Uh, passenger. Easier. I need my stool though. This is actually going to take a couple of minutes. So you talked about taking the fender off. I'm not going to do that. But I'm looking and I'm thinking... You don't have to. The two bolts come from underneath. Yeah. There's one at the top that's going to be kind of difficult. So uh, we got to get the whole thing out on the floor, basically. Yeah. Yeah. There it goes. There. Just soak her down. I just don't want to break those bolts because yeah. then you're pulling the fender to drill that stuff. It's pretty cool. That's coming back to life. Yeah. your springs out because they always fall on the ground. Okay. That clip's so rusty. Oh, it was a screw at one time. Wait. Or is that why it has screws in it now? I don't think those screws would have been there when it was new. No. They would not have its full screws, so that's been kind of repaired. Okay, hold on. Yeah, just taking the There's way a Phillips right there. there. Yeah. Oh, there she is. Okay, I'll tighten up a little bit. Good save. Strict off screws just ruin the party every time. But I mean, basically, an assembled unit. Okay, yeah, that's exciting. What's going on? Okay, so there's, ooh, that's just a fucker hazard waiting to happen right there. Okay, so these need to come off. Mm. Surprisingly little rust, really. That looks really good in here, even. Yeah. Not a bad idea, because I'll never remember that later. Oh, of course. The wires, even if they weren't the same color when they were new, they are now. Right, when you can't find your low profile 516s. Make one. There are a lot of components to making all these windows work, eh? Hey? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, when you start thinking about the number of wires and switches and stuff that have to work to make these windows, it's probably the biggest repair on the car. Four hydraulic cylinders and a hydraulic motor and one, two, three. How many lines too? Well, only three hoses, right? I guess, yeah. Three hoses, everything else will be hard lined, which those will all be fine. So I guess it's not too bad. Four cylinders and a pump and three hoses. You could look at it You're that way. You're hope about the Oh, motor. and 500 switches and 433 grounds. No, it's coming off. Oh, good. It was just really rusty. Imagine that sitting out in the rain with the windows down for 30 years or so. Switch got rusty. Look at that. That is obviously. It's fine. Battery motion cylinder. Oh, I see. I would think, but I don't know. MOT is probably motor. This door panel is heavy. Cool. <laughs> Look at that, hey? Oh, so the thing is, the, the spring is always pulling it down and the pump is one way. And when you push down, all you're doing is opening the valve at the bottom of the cylinder and the spring pulls it down. Yeah, exactly. Because look at that spring, that's like a clutch spring. Well, no man. wonder they end up with all the windows down out in the bush. Because it's impossible for that whole system to be so tight that that spring doesn't always win. The spring will always get it. Look inside the bottom of the door, so it's in really good shape. That's way better news than anything the window could tell us, because the rust is what'll slow you down. Look at that, see the cool loop in there? Yeah, I was just line. looking at that. So there's a joiner right there, do you see it way in there? There's a union right there. Behind that other door, you could disconnect it there and oh, take the whole- Oh, I see, okay. You know, I'm not like a, you know me. Like, I'm, I'm all just get in there and just figure it out, but this, there might be something to be said for buying the shop manual here. Ah, uh, yeah. That's probably not a bad idea. It might be on the next order I make. Because, like... I, I probably have a lot of it. The mechanical manuals are pretty easy to get. Very few body manuals are out there. And I have the body manual for the 59 Buick, and that's already been handy. 
Like that was donated as well, which is just crazy. Figure she's just gonna come back to life, eh? Couple of squirts, eh? This will be fine. That's all fine. <laughs> That's all fine. This whole assembly maybe comes out as a unit. That's what you do. Take this whole spring, because the spring and the cylinder, everybody's part of the same team. You bring that whole thing out. Just where is it hooked? Oh, it's hooked up to right there. Yeah. Which is hooked up to yeah, that's the, these wait, that's two bolts the, right here. There you go. So those two, oh, I see the other two bolts at the bottom, and then the whole assembly comes out. And then the whole thing goes out. And once they're out of there, leave the glass in. And just push the glass up to the top and rebuild that on a bench. <laughs> I'm really impressed. I just think that's awesome. Look at that thing. It's exactly what you hoped it would be. Yeah. It's, which is just, it's actually pretty easy to get at, too. We got the window to come up. Well, I mean, we pulled it up. <laughs> oh, here it comes. Okay, hold on. You got a wire? A wire or two to undo there? Yeah. Now watch that it doesn't snap with the spring. There's still a lot of travel left in that spring there. You know what? That's a job for the trusty vice. Yeah. Not my face. Tonight on vice or face. Should I put this in the vice or try to stop it with my face? Yeah. I don't know if I want to play vice or face either, so I'm going to stand back here. We're going to test the switch because Dan has a good point. It probably still works. Okay, so... Flip it up. Okay, and down. Okay. And flip it up again. So each way the cylinder runs. But if you go down with it again, nothing happens. So the cylinder opens... Yeah, so cylinder opens either way. Either way. Pump goes when you go up. When you go up. It's a pretty simple setup. That switch would still work. And that switch is fine. So that's just going right back in. Yeah. That means these wires are probably fine too. Yep. Yeah. I don't think there's any power to the motor. All it's doing is flipping the oh, relay. Oh, flipping the solenoid. Yeah. yeah, but there's no power to the motor. Do you want me to... Do you want to hook the battery up? The solenoid works, but the pump doesn't kick in. Probably because it's seized solid. Yeah. Cool though. I think the wiring's a lot better than we might have originally thought. Doesn't really surprise me that the pump's a little sticky, but I bet you it comes right back to life. Hey, who's there? <laughs> Don't get her going. <laughs> Jesus. Well, there's a sight for sore eyes. Nice. Headlights cleaned. cleaned. Did you ever make any moves to put that hood on? Or you just no. got it home and said, fuck it. Leaning it against the garage is as far as it got. And I'm moving the 401 to my garage Saturday. Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Saturday, my buddy's coming over. So, oh, nice. We'll get that moved over. So, we're turning up the heat on the Buick. Is guess, that what's eh? happening here? Yeah. Can't just be. Sitting on my ass on Saturday, I was gonna get to work. Yeah, you got a couple other cars that are in the queue as well. Yeah, try not to get too crazy. I don't like seven projects at once. I don't know how you do it. Well, the trouble is that even the cars that are plated are still projects. Sure. Because if it's old, it's a project. It's maintenance, right? Yeah, it's maintenance. Hi, man. How are you yeah. doing today? Well, this is pretty great. Hi. Look what came in the mail, Fraggers. <laughs> I have no idea what's in here. I ordered some stuff for the Buick, so let's see what's going on. I don't even remember what I ordered. Cam, cam lifters, gasket kit, rings. Uh, no pump? No. <clears throat> probably Would you rather have. leave? Okay. Look at this, We're Frakers. taking $7.06 for customs. Okay. Looks like you got lifters hiding in there. Oh no, that was per lifter. Look at this huge box, and then there they are. There's a full set of new lifters. And they don't appear to be dished like the ones we took out. <laughs> you can't make a salad in them like the ones we took out. <laughs> a little piece of tape won't fit there. And does this get us what we need? Wow, this is... Oh, well, there's the valve seals. So they are that style. Pretty tiny, yeah. Yeah, okay. Really tiny. Yeah. And Just barely all in your gaskets, intake, 
Fuel. And heads on the bottom. Okay, we got the heads and we got intake and exhaust. Four. Where's the exhaust? We, no. They're there. Yeah. yeah. So we got everything. Okay, Miles and I have decided today is the day that we're going to hone the block and uh, that will not take very long. It's going to take way longer to clean the block than to hone it. So I thought if you got to, you got to clean it after you hone it. Exactly. So let's hone it first. I'm going to give it a very rough clean, hone it all, and then we're going to basically spend the rest of the evening here uh, cleaning this mess because this thing is yeah it is gross ugly. anyhow that's the plan I'll uh we'll get a close-up here in a second but you know it's not like this is we're not really changing the world of automobiles here straightforward yeah you don't do it dry no I don't do it dry so you want me to just spray and wipe a thin layer in there no, just uh no, I just fucking hose it in while I'm going. It helps flush out. Because these stones will get plugged, right? And as soon as the stones are plugged, you're not doing anything. So just hit the sides while I do this. Yeah, hit it. Give her a good soak near the top. There, that's all. Yeah. Okay, so up and down fast. Yep, I know. Just all get right. your going first. Give her a wipe, see how we're yeah. doing. Yeah. So we're only going to see a spot up near the top where it's not going to yes. clean up. But yes. dude, I mean that looks already so close to brand new, I'm not... I would think that you're done after that. Let me just see that. I mean, all we're trying to do is give the new rings a fresh surface. Yes, right, so like that looks I mean, really that, good. Yeah, that, uh, right, I mean, to me, that looks brand new. Yeah. And that didn't really take very long, so we'll just get on to the next ones. This always gets me excited. I just start dreaming about big power and all that. <laughs> Like, oh, oh, I'm yeah. doing this, so I'll get a good feel. I'll have fake compression. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm really enjoying these motors that we've been building lately. Like, I, I always have. Like, I'm not a motors guy, but okay. there's nothing much more satisfying than an engine that you put together, fire it up. to the next one. Well, let's have a look. All right. Maybe they're not all the same. extra passes. Like, we're not really trying to move much of a, a bunch of material here. Like, no. We're, no. Getting, we're flush at the top and there's going to be a little low spot which we could literally just hit with some every paper. But it doesn't even matter. Then it will be just as good as a Studebaker. It's going to be way better and the Studebaker engine is awesome. Yeah, great. We didn't even put rings in it. No, we didn't. Right? We didn't. never even took them off the pistons and just cleaned everything the best we could. That engine runs like new. It is pretty amazing what a good clean will do it to is, something. right? And this is my point with, with doing these engines this way is you don't need to spend a bunch of money. You can just, you know, unless it's garbage or completely destroyed, but most engines are not. Like, you know, the first Studebaker engine, that was garbage. Yes, that was garbage. There was no fix of that. Way. But this, this is a pretty easy one. Yeah, that's fine. I wouldn't go any more than that. Got a nice cross hatch. Yep, yeah, it looks, looks, looks good, no low spots. It's been a while since I put an engine together. Besides playing here. <laughs> you don't count those ones, eh? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> the engines we build here don't count. <laughs> well, it's not six grand out of my pocket in parts, so. Well, this is the thing. Everything that I bought for this engine, including cam and lifters, 800 bucks. That includes yeah. delivery and Canadian exchange rate and duty and tax. Shipping. So, I'd like to build this engine for $1,000. 
and that's kind of a realistic number to me. I don't begrudge it a thousand dollar engine, but I'm not spending ten ever. Yeah. Never, no. never, never. And as soon as it needs, and this is my point, is if it doesn't have to leave this yard, then we can build it not only for a thousand dollars, but in a couple of evenings and screw it around. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. And it's fun. Turning the engine around. Fun. Yeah. Dan offered us to use his engine stand to run it in. Nice. We can't dyno it, but it's a great way of checking for leaks and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, which is so nice. Check rear main seal before yeah, it's in before the car. Yeah, before it's in the car, right? That's pretty yeah. great right there. Okay, you want to go do that then? Take a break and... Yeah. I can just do, do you want to just do... Shit. Or I can do that. Do yeah. the other four and I'll yeah. go finish the video. You bet. So as you can see inside the cylinder, there do appear to be a couple low spots still. Right here where it's still, it's a different color, it's a little darker gray. Bottom and top of the piston stroke is a little low. It seems a little, it sees a little extra wear. All the same, it's got a nice cross hatch in all the cylinders or as much as I can to the top. So I would say that's pretty good. Ready to go on to the cleaning stage. Evening of shit work in front of us. Let's get after it. Shit work. And but shit work. Uh, making a little to-do list. Go to the other side of that. Yep. Two and a quarter, right? Looks well, like two, two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Rope seal, uh, oil pressure sender, two and a quarter inch plug. We could inquire about a water pump, but sure. honestly, yeah. I think I'll end up shipping it. Yeah, if, all, if all they can get is a Chinese one, I'll, I'll ship it to Winnipeg and get it rebuilt. So, an evening of cleaning. Looks pretty good. I'm pretty, Looks pretty happy, clean. actually. <laughs> Lots of uh, Buick green showing up. Yeah, no cracks. That's something. Yeah, no uh, no cracks, no windows in it. Yeah, I have found that before. I told you about the mudded up 413 I had once. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah when, it's one thing when you got Bondo in the quarter panels, but when you got Bondo in the side of the block, <laughs> you, you might be getting hosed. And we were just having another quick look at the first light clean on the bearings, and they're just nice. I'm not touching any of that. Yeah, we got parts arrived today. Oh, I still waiting for a timing chain. That was the other thing I ordered. Timing chain's coming. Camshaft's coming still. Yeah, that was if a good night. It's that was. Clean. It looks a lot better. It's and ready for it's uh, So it's ready for more cleaning. Assembly. And uh, I want to sand the gasket surfaces. Yeah. Okay. Quickly and. Uh, yeah, not, not a hell of a lot more. And we got to sort out this rope seal thing. Overall though, looking good and pretty fun. Thanks for the help, man. Yeah, awesome. anytime. Shit works fun, right? <laughs> well, it's no mental. if uh, shit work is fun, this is fucking Disney World. Yeah. It's more relaxing than say painting cars, which we also get to do occasionally. Or working for a living. Or working for a living. Like I want this thing on a stand ready to test in, in a few, well, I guess it depends what we're doing with the transmission. Right. Part of me thinks that transmission would be fine and you just change the fluid and put it in. Right, well. But, you can't there's no way of fluid. testing it. Do we pull the whole thing apart or is, does it go spraying in a pretty spectacular way? Yeah. I'm gonna read up about it, because if it looks doable, it might be fun, hey? Like I definitely, if there's a front know, seal and a rear seal, those are no-brainers. Change those. Yeah. On one hand, I want to be thorough, but on the other hand, you're adding possibly 50 hours to the project. Right. Uh-oh. Somebody wants to go inside. Is it summertime? That's it. Hey. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Oh, tough night of resting. Yeah. Right now. I've been sleeping in this chair all afternoon, you guys. Now I'm upset. Okay, back in the garage again here, and got my uh, valves for the 
well for one side of the Buick engine anyway I'm gonna just assemble the one head and then do the other one I don't know just because that's what I got ready it's one of my uh, favorite little tools and one that uh, you can pick up pretty reasonable because not many places really do this stuff anymore and uh, this thing has just saved a ton of engines and a ton of time and a ton of money these are actually in really good shape if I had to I could probably lap them all back in and they'd be okay but since we're here and there's a little pitting on some of them Let's give them all just the lightest uh, touch up and then we'll be uh, putting it back together. Again, not bad. Tiny bit of wear, but nothing too serious. This one's a little more pitted up. You can see it right over there. I just like to put my hand on and make sure we got it in nice and square. There we go. Just barely touching them, but you can see still lots of margin, lots of meat on these. So much fun. Now we'll do all the intakes. I'm going to go in and see that the, the margin there, which is the area right here, that's getting a little thin. I'm just going to go very lightly by hand and just touch that edge. This is probably the worst one on this head in terms of wear. It's a little bit dished there from wear. Great. Easy fix. The edge is a little crusty. I'm going to just clean this one up as well. Next, uh, moderate wear and tear on this guy, but should clean up easily. Okay. One more and we're done. Also, moderate, light to moderate wear. Couldn't really want it better than that. Okay. Well, time to go do the uh, seats. Yeah, I think it needs just a bit, not much, but just a teeny bit. You see it? Yeah. Just barely. So we'll give it a little more. This is a pretty fine stone. You're not going to take very much off with this. Yeah. Well, you don't want to. No, I don't want to. No. no. Honestly, these probably would have lapped in most of yeah. them. Yeah. There was one that was pretty. One had some wear on it, but. Just, just the lightest touch up. Do you know what what part are you trying to do? This this part here? Nope. This just that part? one. Just the seat. Th yeah. Just this. That's one. it. Yeah. yeah. That, so that's that one right there. Yeah. As long as that's clean all the yeah. way around. So, are you going to have to make some adjustment on the ends of the, the no, valve? No, it's hydraulic lifters. Oh. So it's all self-adjusting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, because otherwise you got to yeah. start... Yeah, for sure. Yeah. No, so everything will be... The lifters will be a little bit down, right? Yeah. But that's fine. They're all new lifters and new yeah, cams. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. the cams there yeah. showed up in the mail. So 
everything looking good that way. So Okay, so have you just started on this or? Well, I've done, the, yeah, I just started on the head. Yeah. Got it. Well, that fits nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Huh. All you're trying to do is clean them up a yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, these should barely even need lapping in. You're starting to glaze that though. Yeah, but that's okay. Well, how do you get the glaze off of that? Well, I got a stone, I got a jig for dressing them. Oh, okay. Yeah, but. Because oh. when they glaze, they do fuck all. Yeah. I know on my cutoff saw, you know, the 14 inch cutoff? Yeah. Like you start cutting some kind of metal and you get that glaze on it, yeah. and it, it won't cut fucking tin, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, sometimes you're cutting aluminum or something. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You get that. that what I've done, way. though, is I've taken a pair of pliers and broke little chunks out of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all yeah. the way around. Yeah. Fuck, she that cuts, she cuts that, Oh, right? yeah, but you got to watch that thing doesn't explode <laughs> on <laughs> Yeah, I kind of think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah you stand so off to they, the otherwise side. Otherwise, they'd sell them like well, that. Yeah. <laughs> you got to stand off to the side and make sure the fucking guard is on, eh? Yeah. And then, yeah. and then just, you know, you just don't honk into it. You kind of just ease into it, you know, so it, it kind of rounds the, the corners off of it, eh? Absolutely. <laughs> and then oh, we used to do that. We used too. to do that with these here, too, on the, on the, the big electric yeah, yeah. Uh, six inch ones. Yeah. You know, you trim them a little bit once, and then once that fucks up, then you trim them again, and you can do the same one three, four times before you run out. Uh, yeah, this is working good. I'm just, uh, you know, no hurry. Just. You know, when you're going through White Court and you're looking down into the valley, you know, on the right hand side, mm -hmm. there's that lumber mill there. Mm -hmm. My aunt and uncle owned that lumber mill. Oh, years, yeah? Yeah, years and years ago. Pretty yeah. big business back then. Oh, fuck, yeah. They, you know, way back in the fucking 60s, she said they were making $10,000 a month. You know, way like back take it then. Home. Wow, yeah. that's good yeah. money today. Yeah. Oh, well, not today, it isn't, but that's I mean, pretty good. <laughs> but back then it was just, you know. Yeah, then they uh, they sold that out, like they retired, sold that out, and they bought an apartment block on White Avenue. Yeah. Just almost at 99th Street there, you know. Uh, they only had one daughter, and apparently now she's in a home too, so. Really? Oh, fuck. And she's, she's my age, you know, but, uh, yeah. Well, I guess. I mean, uh, yeah. There's so. a lot of fucking people my age that are fucking bonkers. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, not like us. Well, like, I don't know. <laughs> Depends who you ask, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, What's fuck. crazy about this? Oh, yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that looks good, right? Yeah, it looks fine. That will absolutely run absolutely give no trouble. The main thing is if you give it a quick one you can see do we yeah. have any problems. Yeah. And no big chip or anything, you know. Like that's what you don't want. Or somewhere right. where it well, doesn't see, touch it's not at all. Touching from here to here. Right? Yeah, it's it's definitely not, not yeah. touching. Yeah you can see where that scratch is and it's the scratch is in there. Yeah. Right. From right here there. to here. Yeah. yeah. It's not I touching can see at all. that scratch in there, right? So we might have to get a coarser one now. Let's see if we got a coarse one and we can cut that away, cut that back. Well, what the hell would be wrong with this Ooh, here? That's, that's a 60. Hey, hey? Yeah, get in there with that. Good fucking yeah, around. Just, yeah, just like, you know, that's weak. like this here. It's a little big, but it'll work. <laughs> just eyeball it, it'll yeah, be fine. Fuck. So I had be... a fucking uh, rod that went on a tractor once, eh? So I pulled the whole fucking motor apart, and the aluminum, uh, you know, it all went onto the crank, eh? Oh yeah. You know how they do when they, yeah. 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 So I took a piece of sandpaper and I just kept working it and working yeah. it and cleaned it, it all up until, and you can see when you got all the aluminum off, it's yeah. kind yeah. of a different color, eh? Yeah. And you got it back. I got it rod. back. I bought a new rod for it and, uh, you know, the whole bit, put yeah. it back together. The fucking thing run like a damn, eh? Yeah. My neighbor had a John Deere that exactly the same problem. He cleaned his crank with a with a grinder. 
probably didn't work quite as oh, well. Oh, fuck, it didn't work <laughs> at all. And he had that fucking crankshaft. Well, it's destroyed. Just, oh, fuck. Completely yeah. destroyed. Oh, it was fucked. You don't have to push too, too hard on that. No. Thing. You don't want, I don't think. It's coming now. Right? Yeah. There's Another just a little, little bit there. I keep, eh? I keep rotating this in case it's not dead. Oh, yeah. Like that way you yeah. Yeah, you're not minimize your error. Yeah. Now you can go back to the fine one. Well, I'm going to keep going a little bit because it's taking a lot out of this side. So. But where it's going to get hottest and where you're going to have the problem is right next to the exhaust valve. Yeah. And that's right where it was not Right where it was, yeah. That's where you were having the problem. Yeah, so if, if we end up taking a little more material to get that sorted out, it doesn't really bother me. We're pretty close, but I've not got the full width of the seat yet. Like you say, it'll probably do the trick. Yeah, anyway. there you go. Right? Yeah. That's got a good yeah, seat. Both the same width all the way around. Yeah, that's eh? right. So are you gonna go back to a fine one now or yeah, I think we just quickly give it a little yeah. how does that one look? Maybe hit it with the coarse one. Well Yeah. We'll get that it out quickly. Yeah, while while you got it on, eh? Yeah, while we have it on. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and if it instantly marks all the way around, we'll go to the fine. Yeah. Why all okay. the vibration? Let's see, I'll do that. That's all right. Yeah, this one's fine. Instantly. Nice wide stripe all yeah. the way around. So okay. it's just that one was a little janky. Yeah. Every head I've ever done with this stuff works out fine, right? Good enough, at least, anyway. I mean, oh, you yeah. know. Well, I'm not building race cars. Well, that's but right. That's just what I was going to say. These aren't fucking, you know. No. And would I build a Ferrari with this? Probably not. But I'll certainly build anything I own. If I got, like, if I don't have the tools because the car's too fancy, I just don't want that car. Well, no, you know? because if you got to pay somebody else to as do soon it. As, you, as soon as it has to leave yeah. this yard, I'm not interested. Let's join Jim on the endless story of the 56 right, uh, Mark II Continental. Yeah, with special guest Dean for yeah. Continental Action. We're gonna, yeah, we're going to check it out tonight and see where Jim's at. Let's uh, at. see what Mr. Jim is doing. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Jim. What's going on? What's up, I brought special Ooh. guests. Holy hey. shit. Yeah, special guests, Dean. I finally made it over. Wow. Yeah. Oh, frick yeah. Oh, good to see you, man. Hey, yeah. likewise. Yeah. It's been a while, I guess. Yeah, it's been a little while. Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> Holy shit. We're up and down here. Uh, what's going on? You're working on the old Conti, eh? Well, yeah, we thought yeah. we might, hey? Good. Yes, what, uh, did you get up to anything? Oh, I made this little bit here. Oh, great. So it's just oh, dude, uh, yeah. gonna melt the lead out, but yeah, oh, it'll go oh, there. Oh, look at that! That's very really nice. Really correct sure, that sure. issue. Yeah. Oh, see, we got the back all put back together oh, yeah. there. Yeah, right. Hey, look, yeah, it's all solid, solid now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we did this last week. Yeah, here. we did that guy yeah. last time. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. That. yeah. Hey, so it's just oh, nice. Actually, not going nowhere. Oh yeah, structurally sound. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> getting there. Getting there. Cool. Yeah. Oh, I got those bumper bolts that I had promised. So oh, think, good. Uh, Maybe we'll throw the bumper on. That's a good Dean job. Yeah, well, you can bench press that yeah, bumper right we'll in there for it. Yeah. We'll just sit in the other room and drink. Okay, I'll just do it. <laughs> <laughs> the goal okay. of putting the bumper on is to establish the final location of this back corner. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we can't actually do any of the welding with the bumper on. Is that right? I believe so. But so, it's just verifying that but we want to make like, sure all this stuff oh, can start yeah, going yeah, yeah. in. But yeah. uh, but we oh. don't want to be wrong. Yeah, we don't want to. Okay, no, it's good. So yeah, just yeah. So we know we're taking it off. 
Oh, as soon yeah. as we know that everything oh, we're works. Just, we're kind of just mocking we it. we got to mock it up to make yeah. sure the quarter is the right okay. shape. You want to set it in place and get a feel for it? Oh, washers on the back side, are you doing okay? Yeah, okay. Okay, I can do yeah, the Yeah, sorry, buddy, you're holding the weight of it right there. Okay, I can put a, a nut on it. See that we got it pretty close, but it needs to come straight back. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So if we add it back, two more washers worth. Oh yeah, because is this? Oh, that's just loose, so that's yeah. good to know there. But this isn't really going to move much because we can't... Yeah, we can move it a bit. Ooh. Right? Yeah. But not a ton. Yeah, no, that's pretty much where that's got to be. Pro okay, car. Dean might have to loosen okay. his side a bit. Okay, I, I can do that, yeah. No problem, man. Oh yeah, the I'm third a little, guy. I just finger snug here. How are the one, third guy? This one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the third yeah. guy. Yeah, we can get a quarter well, we picked into a your good side. day to magically yeah. show up with extra guys. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm gonna tighten this too. Okay, I'm gonna loosen it a little bit. Okay, I have to loosen it a little bit here, guys. Okay, yeah, yeah, perfect. There, there, you go. Go. there we go now. Okay. Oh, now we're getting into Lincoln Land here. Sweet. Yeah, there you go. You might go with that. See what happens. Okay. There. All right. So, we got the shape of this opening, but yeah. the bumper doesn't fit it. It fits everywhere except this corner. And then remember the bumper on the other side is not so square? Yeah. Oh. Let's have a look at that. Like that? Nice. For this side, it would be pretty much, right? I really want this to be close. Okay. We can roll this out a bit because it's flush here. Should this yeah. be sticking out past the body? Um. How much uh, on your side, Dean, uh, yeah. like from the bumper to the body, is it fairly flush? That interface? Yeah, it's pretty darn good. I mean, are you yeah. talking about oh, the bottom? No, it could come this way a bit, because we put these marks on the, on the tip. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Do you want me to hold the whole bumper? No, uh, oh, I'm pretty good, because I can maneuver here and wiggle. Okay. okay. So yeah, that goes like that. And so yeah, if this so, rolls I mean, that doesn't like that, really look bad at all. Yeah, that's quite good. Yeah, so. But this, my finger just nice all the way along yeah. here, and this it's the same is... here as mm -hmm. it is down here. Okay. This is the same. You know that if we can get this bumper right there when we're done, yeah, we can sort that out yeah. because that's a bit yeah. of a problem. Oh, okay. Yeah, and, cool. but that's the bumpers issue. But that's not the, the car. Yeah, that's. The yeah, thing. we're not going to beat the car. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. okay. Well, if you are happy with that, oh, well, I'm okay. very. Happy. Then do you want to take the team. bumper yeah, back yeah. off well, and? Well, this is because yeah. Well, yeah, because then we can do stuff. We just. Okay. Good. Need to verify that because this isn't moving anywhere. Because yeah. These fifties right. cars are pretty flush with their bodies and the bumpers. Right? Oh yeah, buddy. Good. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, so that, 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 that's in there. Sugar scoop finally in. Yeah. Oh wow, that's, that's real progress. <laughs> Thought we'd never get that in there. How's it going? Yeah, good. See, yeah, oh, I'm yeah, getting there. Yeah, 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 I'm getting there. Yeah. And it does get warm. Is that ever cool? Yeah, right. Whisper quiet. No it's grinding. No big or nothing. No. Yeah. No sa zero safety equipment. <laughs> Yeah, no pesky safe right here. <laughs> there we go. Wow, it's really humming now. Nice. Let her cool down, yeah. You're hired. Yeah, yeah, right. That there we great. go. Okay. Okay. Do a bit right here. See that? Mess oh, there? yeah. Him up the torch. Purple there. Okay. Little We're little recording, guys. Chaos there. Some flame, flame on. Guys, yeah. Flame yeah. on. Okay. Nice. Certainly better. 
Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, nice. So we cannot get in there and punch that. Uh, maybe we have a long rod. Oh, okay. Anybody around here got a long? Nice. Keep the sides of the triangle just so you can pull on the. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh. Here. Oh yeah, you're twisting it out. So it's oh good, yeah. Way. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Eh? That's a yeah, little better. Buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. There, it's there. Okay. Old school yeah. body work method, eh? Yeah, yeah. cool. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. He's holding the very tool. Well, it's hot. You want yeah. to warm it back? Okay, gotcha. No, You're I using these tricks on forklifts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. probably yeah. could. Act. These guys don't take care of equipment, Jim. They just oh, don't really? know. They don't oh, take care of nothing. Yeah, very few people do these days. I know, know it's crazy. Like a video game, you know, yeah, if you, yeah. you run into something, you just hit backspace <laughs> and you're yeah. back. Yeah, yeah, reset. Yeah, reset. Yeah. 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 You're oh. alive again. Yeah. <laughs> Grand Theft Forklift, you know? Grand GTF. GTF. Grand Theft Forklift. Look at You're like the bionic in. man. You get poses and cords. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you are. Man. So what I'm gonna do is right on, buddy. Oh yeah, tack it. Tack and literally tack and bash. Tack and bash time, right. yeah. That's where we're at. That's yeah, where we're at. Yeah, tack and bash right. gets shit done, so yeah. You yeah, probably heard of that theme. Scotty here with another one. Whoop. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, good. Yeah, nice guys. Cool. Yeah. Now, Little really, gaps yeah. Are all filled in, and all the overlapping bullshit is sorted yeah. out. Get yeah, get a load of this piece here. Oh, you know, this is the yeah, the oh, rubber, yeah. rubber baby buggy bumper uh, for the trunk. <laughs> Sorry, let's film that. Yeah. Okay. And you can see exactly where it used oh, to be. Oh, used to be. You yeah. notice that's about oh. Well, she's kind of collapsed in or something. Yeah, it was bent in about oh, little three quarters of an yeah. inch. And yeah, now it's a true. Man, wow. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. We'll have to fix that. Oh, we'll have to straighten this. Yeah, yes. yeah. I mean, that's not. Because I could keep it, I could put it like in amber and put it on the dash. <laughs> Amazing how much force it would take to crumble that. Yeah, it's been you're a pretty, right, though. pretty yeah. big hit. Probably a semi truck. And it's pretty thick gauge metal. It Look is. Look at that, eh? The whole car. Yeah. She yeah, that was the whole 40 car. Just, oh, 40. this took a hard hit. Yeah, she took these a are hard. tough cars. You don't oh, yeah. buckle these things in a little. Fender. They don't back into a it's shopping not a parking cart. Lot. <laughs> no, yeah. Actually, before we go, let's. I gotta show the people because I. This is the first. I gotta show the people the. Yeah. So this is the first time I saw this glorious. Like what an engineering marvel! Like, I love how the exhaust manifolds are so high that they just cook out the valve cover caskets on these old 368. Thanks for showing me your car, man. I'm Anytime. so yeah. yeah. You can sit in it if you want to. Too. I've never sat in it. I got lots of room in this yeah, girl. It's a big car. Oh, ho, ho. oh man, eh? Right? But the wheel's a little too big, so it needs the proper wheel. Oh, it needs a, which is actually over there. Yeah, right there, man. Our glorious mailing system, known as Canada Post, lost the first check. Oh no. And uh, so then I sent a second one because oh, it was God. so cheap. And, uh, this is crazy. Yeah, that one showed up, and then months later, like six months later, she got the original check. <laughs> Enough of this. We're out of oh, here. Oh man, we're out of here. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It's got <laughs> town and country. Yeah, oh, it's like a this is seeking late radio. This like, is real money back then. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, man. Look at this. It's like well, you're it's in an airplane. Oh, I know it. It has a tack. What yeah, man. Heck? And you're revving her on. Oh, out. she's. Oh, wow. AC on your head. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine nice. that cooling you down oh, on a hot summer's gosh, day. Gosh, this thing's.
Uh, <laughs> wow! Yeah. yeah. Well, a little oh, more here. tonight, then, gentlemen. Oh, nicely yeah. done. Dean, Dean doing some getting the grinder work, grinder, grinder grunt work done yeah. tonight. We oh, messed man, around in the back session. corner nice. there. Yeah. It's Got that. A little closer. <laughs> Dean, thanks for the sound effects yeah, there. Right? <laughs> yeah, all the footage is lost. You can <laughs> just kind of dub put, in. Don't, right? put, don't put that in the video, <laughs> eh? I'm totally putting it. <laughs> that was exactly what it sounded like, too, yeah. Dean is telling the story yeah. <laughs> through through sound. Yeah, sound and dance. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so, we're kind of tying the room together there. Oh, cat. Cat. Yeah, and... Uh, the sugar scoop finally in. Yeah, and the other brace thing. Yeah, the sugar Oops. scoops. Uh, the sugar scoops brother. evil twin. Yeah. Reunited at last. Oh yeah. <laughs> the whole. Yes. Remember, remember what this looked not. Nothing. Well, I guess you could show that little. Man, I wish we had a picture. This thing here, this tells the what whole this story like. of yeah. what it yeah. used to be. Is that how that used to? Sit? Yeah, because we cut that out and busted it off. So that yeah. used to sit. That's oh. just a slice there. So this whole yeah, yeah. back used to be in that, that was much, all in here. and then this side was pushed in that much, which is a wonder and why the, the trunk was down. didn't fit. Yeah, three quarters of an inch it was down. Oh man! Really? Wow! Yeah, well it had yeah, a it big crazy. kink above the back wheels, right? This right. Like a center of the axle. Yeah, yeah, the trunk <laughs> just refused to close. Was well, a uh, deadline. We yeah, work yeah. On this more Jim often. has a deadline. This yeah. is yeah. exciting. We'll, yeah, we'll work on this more often. Yeah, yeah Canadian so. Thanksgiving. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Wedding. Yeah, big wedding. Yeah, that's how it's Yeah, oh, that is my guy's wedding. Get it yeah. in wedding white. It's got to yeah. be wedding white for October. October twelfth. Twelfth. Yeah. Twenty twenty five. Twenty five? Not twenty four. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> really, Jim's gonna weld up all of this. Now that there's a deadline, it's just like oh, go yeah. time. Oh, shit. That's fun. That's very it good. Yeah. I like the idea. Yeah, I like this. Cat checking things out. Where'd you get this cat? Oh, he just kind of showed up. Does it have a name? Uh, stripes, because he's got these <laughs> stripes on him. He looks identical to Dan. If you've seen that cat, Dan. Yeah, has, yeah, Tiger. It's the yeah. same cat, pretty much. Okay, stripes yeah. and Tiger. <laughs> yeah, uh, stripes and Tiger, tiger. you See, fucking guy. That's kind of a better name, I guess. <laughs> we dropped the ball. But... Doesn't eat much food. Seems to catch mice, I think. Yeah, just likes to hang out. Brings around, yeah. Cats will do that. Yeah. Sure likes walking around on the car. Oh yeah, yeah, I don't blame him. <laughs> oh, the cat likes the microphone thing. Oh, okay, right? probably that big puffy thing. The big puffy thing. The dead cat or whatever. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, no, you like that, eh? Should be good. The brand new radiator. This tube is intact. Wow, man! Yeah. Wow. Look at that, eh? I'm so glad to see this thing. Wow, this is amazing. Yeah, it's quite a. How in the hell? Yeah, I, I think. Because it's French. so haggard it's all French, <laughs> we kind of forget how special these are. Yeah, so the French it's got the French lights. Oh man, yeah. Can you dust it off the Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, she's gonna need a little light detailing when it's done, eh? Well, <laughs> hopefully the bride's not in white. So I just gotta get there and yeah. But that's that's no small accomplishment either. That's not just painted, that's like in Vancouver. Yeah, the bit of all. But, uh, well, yeah. Oh, this will be magical. If you can pull that off, that's well, Alex magic. Well, hitchhiking there, so uh, um, I figure if I can drive this, I'd be in uh, much better shape. Yeah, you probably could. Hitchhiking, fuck. Yeah. Let's go, just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're probably good. Yeah, you're probably I like that plan yeah. because really it does run pretty good and the brakes mm -hmm. are done. You need rubber, right? You, you're not going to run this. Yeah. Those good enough? Hey. Uh, sure they're they're soft. They're uh, modern repops. They yeah. just wore out. Yeah. yeah. But uh, they're but fine enough. So you got rubber. Yeah. And you got glass. Yeah. You got exhaust. Yeah. Sort of. Is it good? Oh, yeah. The exhaust is good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. So it's just paint. Yeah. Paint and a good little bit of vacuuming. Paint and a serious, yeah, detail. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's neat to see the new piece actually looks all all right oh it looks better than the original some of the original there. stuff's pretty rough yeah. i don't mind admitting that there's yeah. some yeah. No, the new piece looks uh, the new piece right at home right we fucked around with that where'd that come from man that used to be part of the oh. order that's your wheel orange right wheel there. Yeah. yeah that was there good yeah. job so cool all this stuff yeah 
there's still more to do. Like, oh, we yeah, still we're not gotta, out of the woods yet. Not out of the woods, but yeah. drinks time. Yeah. What do you think, Dean? Yeah, you should well, get one, buddy. That, Dean's that, talking about getting a Renault Alliance. Uh, well, that, I might. I think I might actually buy that car. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe that Continental with the. See, there's no hubcaps on it. So the it Continental. Might to you, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Those cars are crazy. Oh, man. Isn't that beautiful? Hey. Good yeah. God. Yeah, we're all just bums in gym what towns. A sweet thing. Well, I'm a bum as well. I'm worried. <laughs> <laughs> So as always, uh, thanks for hitting the old like button and leaving a comment and all that bullshit. Smashing it. Uh, smash the like button beyond repair. Please double check if you think you're subscribed because YouTube unsubscribes people from this channel and probably other channels, but this is the only one I have. This one matters. Uh, we'll be back next week with more of the regular Same old shit. <laughs>